algebra is a branch of mathematics that studies the structure, relationships, and operations between symbols and numbers. Basic concepts of algebra include variables, coefficients, equations, inequalities, functions, and more. Let's break it down in more detail. Numbers and numerals. Numbers are mathematical objects that are used to measure and count. Numbers are symbols that represent numbers. Our decimal number system uses only 10 digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Numbers come in different types. Natural numbers. These are numbers that are used to count objects and begin with 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Integer numbers. These are all natural numbers, as well as their negative inverse and 0. Minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2. 3. Even and odd numbers. Even numbers divide by 2 without remainder, e.g. 2, 4, 6, 8. And odd numbers do not divide by 2 without remainder, e.g. 1, 3, 5, 7. Prime numbers. These are numbers that divide only by 1 and by itself. For example, 2, 3, 5, 7, 11. Operations with numbers. Addition. Addition is an operation that combines two or more numbers into one. For example, 2 plus 3 hua, 5 2, is the first summoned, 3 is the second summoned, 5 is the sum, that is the result. Remember that changing the places of the summons does not change the sum. Subtraction. Subtraction is an operation that finds the difference between two numbers. For example, 5 minus 3 2, 5, decrees 3 subtract 2, difference is the result. But when you subtract by changes terms, the result changes 5 minus 2, 3. Column addition and subtraction. Column addition and subtraction are methods used to perform addition and subtraction of large numbers. For example, 10 plus 5. Let's write in column and count the columns separately. 5 plus 0 equals 5. 1 plus 0 equals 1. We get 15. And 15 minus 10. Write in a column and count by columns. 5 minus 0 equals 5. 1 minus 1 equals 0, and we get 5. Multiplication. Multiplication is an operation in which one number, the multiplier, is increased by a number of times equal to another number, the second multiplier. The result is the product. There are three basic terms in multiplication. Multiplier. This is the number that is multiplied by the multiplier. For example, in multiplication 3 times 4, the number 3 is the multiplier. Second multiplier. This is the number by which the multiplier is multiplied. In the example, 3 times 4, the number 4 is the multiplier. Product. This is the result of multiplying the multiplier by the multiplicand. In the example, 3 times 4 equals 12. The number 12 is the product. Let's look at an example of multiplying the numbers 3 and 4. We multiply each digit of the multiplier, 3, by each digit of the multiplier, 4, and write the results in a column. We then add these results to get the product, 12. Division. Division is an operation that is the inverse of multiplication. In division, a number called the divisor is divided by another number called the divisor. The result is the quotient. There are also three basic terms in division. Dividend. It is a number that is divisible by a divisor. For example, in the division 12 divided by 3, the number 12 is the divisor. Divisor. This is the number by which the divisor is divided. In the example 12 divided by 3, the number 3 is the divisor. The quotient. This is the result of dividing the divisor by the divisor. In the example 12 divided by 3 equals 4, the number 4 is the quotient. Let's look at an example of dividing the number 12 by the number 3. We start with the divisor digit 12 and divide it by the divisor digit 3. If the result of the division, in this case 4, is multiplied by the divisor, we get the original number 12. If the result is obtained with a remainder, the remainder is written after the number and if without a remainder, there is no remainder. A fraction is a numerical expression that shows a part of a whole. It consists of two parts, the numerator and the denominator. Numerator. 
the number that is above the fraction line. It is the number of parts we have or are considering. For example, in the fraction, two thirds, the numerator is two. Denominator, the number that is below the fraction line. It is the number of parts into which the whole is divided. For example, in the fraction, two thirds, the denominator is three. Operations with fractions. Addition and subtraction of fractions. Adding and subtracting fractions requires a common denominator. After that, addition or subtraction is done only with numerators and the denominator remains unchanged. For example, for the fractions two thirds and one third, the sum will be three thirds. Multiplication of fractions. To multiply fractions, numerators and denominators are multiplied separately. For example, for two thirds and three fourths fractions, the result of division is eight ninths. Mixed fractions. These are fractional numbers that are made up of an integer part and an ordinary fraction. For example, one whole and one second is a mixed fraction where one is the whole part and one second is an ordinary fraction. Also, one whole one second can be written as three second fractions. Comparing fractions. Roger that, let's go straight to comparing fractions using the example of slices of pie. Suppose we have two pies, one cut into eight pieces and the other cut into six pieces. First pie, the pie cut into eight pieces. If we take three pieces from this pie, it will make up three eighths of the total pie. Second pie, a pie cut into six pieces. If we take three pieces from this pie, it will make up three sixths of the total pie. Now let's compare these two fractions. Three eighths and three sixths are two different fractions, but they need to be brought to a common denominator for comparison. The least common multiple of eight and six is 24 so we can express both fractions with a denominator of 24. 9 24 18 24 Now that both fractions have the same denominator, we can compare the numerators, 9 24 and 18 24 Obviously, 9 24 is less than 18 24 since more pieces were taken in the second pie, and thus more pie was taken. Thus. 3 eighths is less than 3 sixths. The degree of a number is the product of that number by itself some number of times. For example, 2 in thirds means 2 is raised to the degree of threes and is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 or 8. There are two main parts to writing a degree. Base. This is the number that is being raised to a degree. For example, in 2 in thirds, the base is the number 2. Degree exponent. This is the number of times the base is multiplied by itself. In two in thirds, the exponent of the degree is the number three. Basic rules for working with degrees. Multiplying degrees with the same base. To multiply degrees with the same base, their exponents are added together. For example, two in second times two in fourth equals two in sixth. Division of degrees with the same base. To divide degrees with the same base, their exponents are subtracted. For example, two in fifth divided by two in third equals two in second. Increasing a degree to a power. When degrees are converted to powers, their exponents are multiplied. For example, two in third in second, sheen two in sixth. Degree multiplication to zero degree. Way. Any number other than zero is raised to a zero degree equal to one. For example, 8 in 0, Rho Saat 1, increase to a negative degree. Any number other than 0 is raised to a negative degree equal to the inverse of that number raised to a positive degree. For example, 5 in minus third. Jia to 1 divided by 5 in third. The arithmetic square root of a non negative number, A is a non negative number whose square is equal to A. The numbers under the sign of the root must be positive. Based on the definition, the value of the root must also not be negative. The root of a is equal to x equals a to the second degree. But roots are not only square roots, they all depend on the exponent of the root. In a square root, the exponent is 2 because the number is squared to the second degree. 
and in a cube root in the exponent will be written the number 3, and accordingly the number will be raised to the third degree, i.e. to the cube. Logarithms are a way of measuring how many times a number must be multiplied by itself to get another number. Let's pretend we're talking about the logarithm of one number with respect to another number, or the logarithm of one number by the base of another number. For example, if we are talking about the logarithm of 2 by base 8, it means that we want to know how many times we need to multiply prom sater by itself to get hans 8 am. In this case, the answer is hans 3 am sam because mons 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 hans 8 arms. Now let's look at the basic properties of logarithms. Multiplication property. This means that the logarithm of the product of two numbers is equal to the sum of their logarithms. Property of division. The logarithm of the quotient of two numbers is equal to the difference of their logarithms. Property of degree. The logarithm of a number raised to a degree is equal to the product of that degree by the logarithm of the number. Property of changing the base. This property allows you to change the base of a logarithm. These properties help simplify expressions with logarithms and solve equations containing them. That's all I have. Write in the comments. Should I break down the solution of various equations, inequalities, or graphs of functions? I would be grateful if you put a like on this video and subscribe to my channel. Good luck to everyone.